Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the CEO of Aussie 3D. Aussie 3D has the largest range of 3D printers in the Southern Hemisphere. Together with my staff, we've tested hundreds of 3D printers. And tonight we're bringing you the best of the best. We're bringing you the top five 3D printers under 2000 Australian dollars. Hi, I'm Chardonnay Estreisen and I am the owner and fashion designer for Mark Clothing. I'm also the head of the fashion division with the A3DMA team, which is the Australian 3D Manufacturing Association. And together with the Aussie 3D team, we create fashion within Australia. So our number five is the DaVinci 3-in-1 Pro. The DaVinci 3-in-1 Pro is an extremely special printer. Now the reason it is, is because it's not just a 3D printer, it's a laser engraver and it's also a laser scanner. But we had to do something a little tricky to get it in our list. To get it under that Australian $2,000 mark, we had to take out the laser engraver. So tonight it's the two-in-one. Now if we walk through some of the features you're going to see what a special printer this is. So the print size on this one is really large as well. It's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 19 centimeters. That allows you to print things as big as this. So that's a D that we printed out and it's come out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Also we've done some other really cool prints so just some other things. So this is a test print that we did to kick off with um, and then we also did the line that came with it as well and it did a really nice job as you can see up close. The Pro 3-in-1 also has a heated aluminium bed. This is great when you get your job started because when you have a heated bed it'll actually make your job stick to it a lot better. Um, but the only problem is, is with the aluminium bed is after it's finished printing it does stick to it like glue to start with and it sticks to it like glue when it's finished so you are going to need to use tools um, and your spatula to get it off so it is a bit of a chore to pull your print job off afterwards. So one of the features I like with this printer as well is the fact that it's got a 3D scanner although it does have that awesome feature to it um, you can only scan not as high res objects so I can double I can show you these ones as well so anything that's that kind of shape it will do well with scanning but if you're going to go for um, a lot of detail it's probably not going to come out the best quality and also stay away with um, stuff that you're going to scan that's black um, obviously it's not going to come out the best quality as well so the enclosure uh, it's fully enclosed which is fantastic especially if you're going to have this particular printer in you know your home and you've got kids around and stuff as well it's a safe um, safe printer so that's fantastic um, even you know it's a family printer I would say if you're starting out with any kind of particular you know art that you're doing or anything like that you know it's it's an, it's an awesome printer to have for your first one as well so another great feature about this particular printer is the fact that it's got USB and Wi-Fi enabled so that means you can be in your lounge room and still connect to this particular printer so that's a great feature to have so by saying that especially um, I would probably recommend this this printer for you know the home for people you know just doing this as a hobby you know trying to test out 3d printing perfect printer for you The DaVinci Junior is our number four. It's a really compact little printer and it's a great little printer to learn on. So this one is perfect for around the home. It's only 12 kilos so you can carry it around quite easily. So you can set it up, you can do your project, you can learn with your children or if you're a home enthusiast and you want to get, a, get into it, it's a nice play. You can pull it out from wherever you've got it, put it up on the shelf, do your print and then pack it away. Now the DaVinci Junior comes with its own filament, so it's proprietary filament, so what that means is you have to buy their particular brand of filament. Now a lot of people out on the web like will whinge and whine that it's not open source and you can't get other filament, but when you're getting one of these startup printers you don't want to go to the open source stuff because there's a lot of really cheap nasty stuff out there. We've tested a lot of filament and it's not very good quality, whereas you're guaranteed you're going to get good quality prints if you use their stuff. So I think it's very important, especially when you start off that you stick to the manufacturer's suggestions. Awesome, so just adding to the features of this awesome printer is the fact that the build size is 150 by 150 by 150. That gives you an awesome space to play with, especially if you're going to have a little bit of a play with smaller um, prints as well. I've actually printed a few for you to see. So we've got um, a robot here. It's, it's not a robot, it's the <laughs> T-800 Terminator. T800 Terminator. T -800 Terminator. <laughs> um, you down. Yeah, yeah. So we've got that one printed as well. So as you can see, you know, it does it does do some great quality um, prints. And then we we've leaned onto. I I know this film for sure. Uh, so I love I love this film. Um, I so am it's a Groot. 
So and it's Groot, Groot yeah, <laughs> from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, awesome, awesome print. Um, you know, especially you know if you have kids, you can print these tiny little you know so perfect, characters yeah. as well. Yeah, Christ it's Christmas awesome. presents. You're going to be able yeah. to print your own Christmas presents. Exactly. Give them out around the neighbourhood. Yeah, definitely. Run around dropping off presents everywhere. Yeah, and and to add to that, if you're an artist such as myself, you know you can print some cool stuff like this. Um, so this is actually a pencil holder. So it's got um, two layers to it. So the bottom layer, obviously, to stabilize it. The top layer is basically to help with that as well. But, you know, it, it adds really nice character to, you know, like any kind of, you know, decorative pieces that you want to have around the house as well. So if I had to recommend this particular printer to anyone, I would definitely say, you know, family environment, students. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a starter printer for anyone that wants to test a printout. Start 3D printing yeah. some objects. Yeah, definitely. The Up Mini 2 is our number three pick. Now, it's a great little printer. It's made by Tier Time. Now, Tier Time's brand is the biggest selling brand in Australia. There's a good reason behind that. The whole Up range is a really good quality brand. Um, it's had some predecessors like the Up Plus 2, which was a really good printer as well. But this is certainly a printer outside the box, but it's inside a box. So I've actually waited the whole, you know, five to talk about this particular printer. So this is my, you know, this is my darling because I love the fact that it's portable. This is a portable you 3D printer. You just like the looks. Don't say you don't. It's and the, the looks, looks. It, the looks and the, the fact that it's portable really attracts me to this printer. Um, yeah, it's got a great handle at the top here as well. Um, and it has a touch screen as, as well just down the bottom here. So the build size um, is a little bit smaller than um, any of the printers that we've showed so far. I think it's 15 um, by 15 by 15. 15 by 15 by 15. So it only gives you a small workspace. So, you know, if you're going to do like little bits like jewelry or anything like that, um, this would be awesome for it. And we're going to move on to our prints that we've actually printed on this particular printer. So, you know, for the, the size of the printer, of the, of the plate as well, you know, it can do some awesome prints. So, Mickey Mouse, fantastic print, you know, looks awesome. You know, if you, you know, especially kids, Christmas presents, you know, perfect time for it as well. Um, then we do have some, like, you know, jewellery. If you want to like print oh, right like up a little bit, alley, little bit of jewelry. yeah, a little bit of jewelry. You I can, can see always... that around your neck. Yeah, yeah, just you know, it's my heart. Um, <laughs> and then we do have some awesome superheroes. So we've got um, Spider-Man as well, and then this is Superman. I was almost going to say Batman, but it's Superman. No, how dare you? <laughs> it is Superman. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome prints. You know, great quality. The one big drawback about the Up brand is they run their own proprietary software. Now this software used to be one of the best ones in the industry, but that was three years ago. Times changed and their software is really lagging behind. So other softwares that are free and open source, which is like Cura, have really gone in leaps and bounds and gives you a lot of flexibility to do all sorts of things. Whereas the tier time stuff, it lets it down. It's not, it's not as good as it needs to be and they need to bring it up to um, the standard of everyone else. So um, our recommendations for the Up Mini 2 would probably be artists. I would definitely say fashion designers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would definitely use this one um, for mass manufacturing, yeah. you, know, you know, for jewellery pieces, portable pieces, you know, home like use. home like, use. Listen, it's a real plug yeah. and play, so yeah, it's awesome for home use. Mm -hmm. um, people that are really serious about 3D printing, this is the step up in class, so you can do heaps and heaps and heaps of printing and it will just keep working, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it, really it's okay for just about all areas whether you're a novice or an expert um, as long as you're happy with the build size this is perfect for you now our number two pick is a cracker of a printer because it's not just a printer it's a laser engraver and it's a laser scanner as well so that's a really cool that you can get all these three features and that's going to be in under the sub $2,000 mark. So that's why we can talk about all three features, which I'm really pleased about because you're gonna see some cool stuff when we show you the samples. 
Okay, now this is made by XYZ. Now XYZ Printing is the largest selling 3D printer in the world. The reason being is they're making true plug and play printers. So these ones are designed for people to take home and use straight out of the box, no problem at all. Whereas all the, well, not all, but a lot of the other people out there are making printers that people have to tinker with and use. Now they're great printers for people that want to do that, but this is not that sort of printer. If you want one of those printers, you need to go somewhere else because this one will work and it will work well over and over again. So um, adding to those features, yeah, it's fantastic to have um, especially the laser scanner and laser engraver as well. So we've got a couple of things to show you, um, especially with the laser engraver. This is... Oh, uh, you're stealing my thunder. I wanted to show that. No, I'm so sorry, but I had to do it because, you know, this is something awesome to have. You know, if you're going to have like custom made, you know, designer pouches or something and you can, you know, put the laser engraver on that, that would be fantastic to have. So for me, that's a big win. Um, yeah, also with, you know, obviously the scanner as well. When you're going to scan something, it's not going to be in high res. So it's it's Just best like to... Just like um, the Pro. The yeah, pro yeah, exactly. So it's going to be the same as that. So you have to make sure that, you know, the stuff that you're scanning doesn't have a lot of texture to it. Um, that's going to bring the best quality to your print as well if you're going to like scan it and then print it afterwards. Um, but yeah, just saying that do not print anything that's Oh, do not scan anything that's black. Um, seeing as you it know, won't it, pick it, up. It's, it, it's pretty crappy. Yeah, even it's shiny stuff as well. If shiny really stuff tough. as well. Yeah, but and and all in all, this this printer having all three, it's fantastic to have. You know, under oh. that that price range as well. Awesome. And you know, this is this is a brand new printer as well. So this is fantastic to have in our top five. I'm going to take this opportunity and girl it up a little bit because I feel like you know, if anyone thinks of 3D printers, they think you know it's a guy's thing. You know, it's not. It's not. Um, hence why I'm here. Um, <laughs> So we do have... Were you not a guy? No, no, didn't you know this? Uh, <laughs> thought it was perfectly you know, obvious, but um, we, we did print a little bit of frozen stuff as well for those lovely ladies that would like to get into 3D printing. You know what? You know, you can you can make, you know, jewelry or whatever you want. You can do like these nice characters and stuff as well. It doesn't need to be, you know, all, all manly, but yeah, definitely. If you, if you want to girl it up a little bit, go for it. For sure. So um, the build size with this one is 15 by 15 by 15, which gives you yeah, a great space to work with. It also has the, um, the code just down here that you scan with your phone as well, just like the um, junior, junior as well. So yep. everything exactly the same as the junior, pretty much everything exactly the same, except you're getting the laser engraver and uh, laser scanner as well. So yep. really cool. Yeah, really good. So this particular printer, I'll definitely recommend it to the young, you know, experimenting kind of person that would definitely like to get into 3D printing. So what ages are we saying? Seven and above? Oh yes, of course. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna have it in the in a family environment, it does have the you know fully enclosed case as well. So yep. you know, awesome to teach your kids, awesome to start out with if you're gonna do any kind of you know artistic stuff or yep. you know any like architectural or, stuff yeah, even or your engineering you know students yeah as well. engineering students. Yeah, this is an awesome printer. I would probably rely on this one a little bit more um, than you know the other ones because you don't really necessarily have to have any technical skill within this printer. Yep. Um, with some of the other ones, you actually do have to have a little bit of knowledge on how the printer works and how to replace things um, but yeah with this one I would say you know if this is your first printer go go for it yeah. now our number one pick is the new dual head Robox this has only been released for less than a month. So we've been testing it really rigorously to make sure that we can put it in our top five. And not only can we put it in our top five, but it wins. It wins hands down. There's some really cool features about this particular printer. So we'll start off by saying it prints in two colors. So you get two colors um, that you can print, which is really cool. So um, some of the other um prints that, that we've done, especially with the dual head. I'll show you this little print that we've done. So this is my little Sharky, I'm very proud of it. So, nom, nom, nom. Um, <laughs> but as you can see, this was actually printed um, with both filaments at once. So that's an awesome feature to have to some of your print work as well. Um, not to mention that you can print some awesome features as well that you can actually have move, movable parts. So this one in particular was printed with three parts and was just clipped together afterwards. But this is the stuff that you can create with this printer, and that's fantastic. So but, you can just, yeah, see so that. Let, let me show. Let me show you these guys. So this particular print is one of the coolest prints online. Okay, this is called a platform jack. Now this is printed in one piece, stand it up like that. There's no support structure. Um, 
there's no brim, no nothing. You just print it like that, you pick it up off the bed, and then it's got moving parts and it works. And that's all just printed just like that. So that's not even being assembled with us afterwards, but... No assembly whatsoever. Yeah. It just literally prints like that and then you print it. It's amazing. That's a really, really smart smart piece of um, printing. Yeah, but um, not to mention the quality of these prints are fantastic as well. Um, and to mention to that as well, the, the bed is awesome as well. Oh, you're so, not stealing my thunder. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got a real bugbear about beds. Now, there, there's a good reason. Okay, I don't know why, but there's a misconception in the industry that um, glass beds and aluminium beds are, are very good and that's what people should be using. Now, these beds, they work. So when your print jobs stick to it, it, it does a good job sticking to it. But the problem is, is when the jobs finish, it won't mm. release it. So you need to actually get a spatula underneath it, or you need to get a chisel, like you need to break it off the bed. It sticks too much. But this new PEI bed, well, it's not new. It's actually been out for about four years, but no one seems to be picking up on it. Um, it heats up. When it heats up, it sticks your job to it like glue then when it cools down and the job's finished, it actually releases it and you pick it up like a glass off a table. It's by far the best bed in the industry apart from the ceramic one. The ceramic one is a step above that, but that's in the high-end printers. So for anything in your lower commercial sort of printers, the PEI is definitely the way to go. I, I definitely Big say, scales. Listen, the, the Robox by far is the best print quality you're gonna get, mm. sub $2,000 anywhere there is nothing that comes close to it it prints such great detail it almost crosses over into the um, DLP range like it is gorgeous the quality of the prints that you get out of it like I was absolutely shocked when I started using it to how good it is so mm -hmm. print quality wise it's awesome hands down wins so another great feature that um, this particular printer has is the fact that it's got a slip filament detection system so it detects if there's anything going wrong with the, with the filament if it's been pulled out or something like that it detects it stops the print straight away and then as soon as you fix the problem or replace the, the filament at all it continues from where it le left off so yeah. that's you know awesome if you're going to do like um you know if you're a student and you're doing some projects and you know you, it has to be in at the specific time and it won't or, fail on you like yeah, you, it'll give you it'll just yeah. pause and then you can just resume from there so that's another thing I really want to get this message out there that this particular printer is a real plug and play it's going to work for you straight out of the box if you're looking for something that's going to do 3d printing and it's just going to do it really well all the time you don't have to muck around with the printer this is your printer it really is by far a step above everything else so with this particular printer, I would probably recommend it to a, you know, a lot of people, so probably everyone. You know, if you're experimenting, if you're you know, teaching other people or you know, family, school. Yeah. So yeah, the customers yeah. that we're happy to send this to is yeah, everyone. Education, happy to put it into their uh, home use, fantastic. Um, engineering students, perfect. Um, prototyping companies, fantastic. Fashion like, designers. Fashion designers. <laughs> well, 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 seriously, the quality yeah, of the prints yeah. that you get out of it is ridiculous. Exactly. Um, so it really does cut across mm. all the barriers. So um, this particular printer, yeah, it can go anywhere. Mm. And that's why it's our number, number one. one.